what what does it mean for you racing in Spain? Uh, racing in Spain is something unique for me and I only feel two times a year in Valencia and Barcelona and it's something that uh, I enjoy so much. There is the support from uh, from the uh, everyone on the grandstand, there is the support uh, from the whole country that you feel when you arrive in the airport, in the hotel, when you see the news on TV, there is a, a lot of attention for that particular weekend, a lot of support, everyone wishing you the best, so it's something, uh, uh, something and a very good experience that you remember every year uh, becomes a very special weekend. But how much important is for you the support of the public? It is important, I think uh, uh, when you feel all that uh, uh, emotions, all that passion for uh, for yourself and for uh, your team and all the, the best uh, uh, things and the best wishes from everybody, I think you pay uh, extra attention uh, from the details of the car, the details of the setup, the preparation for the race and uh, you do 101% of, of that weekend. So I think extra time lap, it comes in your home Grand Prix because you take care of everything with a little bit more attention. When you drive on on the track, are you able to notice uh, this enthusiasm from the stands? Yes, you notice uh, the the enthusiasm from from the fans and the the support, uh, especially in the in the out laps that you do on Friday, the first lap you do on Friday, and the first lap you do on Saturday. Uh, there is time to relax a little bit, so you wave to the to the grandstand, and uh, you see a lot of support, a lot of flags, and a lot of uh, emotions there. And uh, also the day lap after the race, whatever the result has been, uh, people are normally so happy. They experience a wonderful weekend of motorsport. Uh, there are a lot of activities around the Grand Prix, not only the race. So I think everyone that goes to the race and is sitting in the grandstand, uh, they enjoy the weekend. And for many people, it's the first time they see Formula One live. So there are a lot of emotions and you feel that and you share these emotions with them. You won in Barcelona, your home country. You won in uh, Monza, the home country of Ferrari. Is there anything in common between the two wins? Uh, yes, I think so. I think uh, the two wins, uh, you, you have some, some emotions that uh, you cannot feel in any other win. Uh, in Barcelona 2006, it was probably the, mm, the best memory I have from a win, a uh, victory. And, uh, uh, it was something special to feel all the the people so happy and uh, all the the tension that you have during the weekend to perform well when you do it and when you uh, perform on Saturday, on Sunday and you win the race uh, there is like a, a big adrenaline coming out and you enjoy so much. In Monza is is the same. I think you feel the, all the passion from the from the team, all the passion uh, from the tifosi for Ferrari and you you are so proud of, of that win because you represent something very big in the sport and you race for the for Ferrari and it's something good. Between the two obviously I feel maybe more emotions in Spain because the, you see the Spanish flags on the Grand Stand and there is uh, some kind of uh, emotion uh, inside that uh, is your country and you feel and proud to be to be Spanish. Or do you feel yourself like a, a flag for Spain? Uh, in a way, yes. I think in, in motorsport, for sure, uh, with, the, with the recent history in, in motorsport uh, uh, for my country, there is obviously not uh, many drivers that uh, had the opportunity, like me, to win Grand Prix, to win the podiums, to win championships. So, in a way, you feel that uh, all the Spanish pe people that like motorsport they have you like uh, uh, the, the, the guy that to follow and the guy that uh, they, they support most. So I race with the Spanish flag always in my helmet, all my career as well. And um, in a way, I'm so proud to, to represent the, the Spanish uh, flag around the world. And uh, I feel proud of that. We talk about the nice side of popularity, but is there any price to pay for it? Uh, definitely, I think there is little price uh, to pay every every home Grand Prix, which is the the stress and the popularity that you have in in your country doesn't allow you to do or to relax in a in a better way. Uh, there is always uh, photos 
to do, there are always autographs to sign, and there is always uh, some extra commitments uh, inside the paddock with the sponsors, etc., and outside the paddock with the fans. So uh, there is a little bit less time to relax. There is a little bit of uh, some kind of stress uh, in that weekend, but uh, you try to, to manage as, as better as you can. This year, there is something has changed in your relationship with the, uh, your supporters, thanks to technology. Can you talk a bit about uh, that subject? Yeah, it's first time that uh, I, I go for the Spanish Grand Prix with uh, uh, new technologies and uh, social network uh, updates. So now using Twitter, Facebook, uh, website, etc. I think uh, I'm a little bit close to, closer to the fans. And uh, in Formula One, uh, it's not uh, easy to know the, the insight of uh, our days or our preparation. So, I think if they follow me, they have what I'm thinking on, on Saturday night, what we have for dinner on, on that particular Grand Prix, or what we have breakfast on Sunday morning before the Grand Prix. So uh, there is extra information that I didn't share before, and I'm happy to do it because uh, I feel close to the fans and uh, I want to share with them what, uh, what we do and how we prepare a Grand Prix that I think is a... Uh, a very normal thing for us, a routine for us that uh, it was some kind of uh, unknown before. So this is good and uh, in the Spanish Grand Prix I think they will enjoy because uh, there are a lot extra activities, there are extra commitments as we said and uh, now sharing with, with them all these things uh, I'm sure that uh, they will like it.